Welcome to the Church of Scientology. Please come in. Come in and take a free tour. No one will tell you what's wrong with you. You will just know. All of that for just a nominal fee. In Scientology, we welcome all people from all walks of life. Whether you're Christian, Jew, Baptist, or Buddhist, or baby Jesus. If you're from the nation of Islam, or Minister Farrakhan. It doesn't matter. We draw no line. Just read a book. You read it and you go, wow. John Travolta is not gay. And Tom Cruise is definitely not gay. Of course it's not a cult. No, it's not a cult. Your eternity is at stake. Come in on how to get cast for the part. Come in and find out how to get into voiceover. Have you heard about Dianetics? It will answer every question you've ever had in your life. You should just come in and find out for yourself. It helped me be a better me so I could finally be what they wanted me to be. What is true for you is true for you. Truth is what you make. So in Scientology, we make our own truths. What are you going to do? You're going to believe the media? You're going to believe the newspapers? The BBC? Anderson Cooper? The internet? You're going to believe a cartoon like South Park? The St. Pete Times? You're going to believe the New Yorker? Your own eyes? You know they're all getting paid by the big pharmaceutical companies. Everybody knows that the psychiatrists were behind the Holocaust, not the Nazis. Oh, that's just another example of how the internet twists things and exaggerates things. We are facing a new era of expansion for Scientology. There's actually 17 billion Scientologists on planet Earth. We actually open a new church of Scientology every three seconds. One just opened right now, Boop. and another one. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no such thing as disconnection. We're there at every natural disaster from 9-11 to the tsunami. We're like at every natural disaster that occurs, like um, Katrina. We're always there at the front line. Distributing pamphlets. And giving weird massages. Teaching people that have lost their loved ones in their home that there is a way to communicate properly. And making sure they never go past a misunderstood word. Von Hubbard didn't die. He willingly discarded his own body because it became an impediment to the research that he had to now do outside the confines of his own body. And obviously to travel to Target too. I don't really have anything to say. I'm just here to fill in for the lack of my demographic.